Hi, this is Nick and Ray, and today we'll be showing you how to make Filipino pork estofado. Estofado is similar to Filipino adobo, but has a sweeter, tangier taste. To make our version of Filipino estofado, you'll want to start off with about 3 pounds of pork butt, cut into 2 inch cubes. Then, sprinkle in one bulb of minced garlic, followed by half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of white vinegar, three-fourths of a cup of pineapple juice, one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of whole black peppercorns, two teaspoons of salt, and two crushed bay leaves. Then mix everything together, making sure that the marinade makes contact with all of the meat. Afterwards, cover your pork and allow it to marinate overnight. On the next day, remove it from the fridge, and then separate the meat from the marinade. Next, take your leftover marinade and pour it through a strainer. Make sure to save the liquid marinade and the strained ingredients because we'll be using them in a little bit. Now it's time to sear your pork. Place your pork into a deep pan with a couple tablespoons of oil that's been heated over medium high heat. All you want to do is sear each side for about 2-3 to three minutes or until a nice sear develops so that you get a little more flavor out of the meat. You don't actually need to fully cook it all the way through at this point. If all your meat doesn't fit in your pan the first time around, just set aside your first batch when it's done and sear up your second batch after. When you're done searing your pork, turn off your stove. Then take any liquid that might have been left over in your bowl of meat and pour it into the bowl of marinade you strained from earlier. You don't want to waste a drop of your marinade. Next, take the strained ingredients from your marinade and drop it into your pan. And set your stove over medium heat. Saute everything for about 2 minutes or so. Then go ahead and add the meat back in. And coat the meat with the saute. At this point, just pour the strained marinade into your pan. And then bring everything to a boil. Once it's at a boil, cover your pan and drop your heat down to medium. And allow it to simmer for about 20 minutes. Next, add in 1 tablespoon of brown sugar. And about 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. The purpose of adding the soy sauce here is to add a little more saltiness if it's lacking. Then just give it a little stir. Afterwards, cover your pan again and continue simmering for another 30 to 40 minutes. When time is up, uncover your pan and fork one of your pieces of meat to see if its tenderness is to your liking. Now, go ahead and add in about two cups of pineapple chunks and mix them in. Then just simmer everything uncovered for about 15 minutes or so or until the thickness of the sauce is on point. Now, all you gotta do is pair it with some white rice and dig in. It's Telegung Tasty!